Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the Round Table Hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion, and you, I am sure, will bear a Baldekin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you? Once more, the blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held? Regardless? Now, come closer. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor, from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this, as often as it takes. Have you ever heard of Black Knife Prince? Dear Roger likes to talk of them when abed, and the ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. These grand affairs are hardly my forte, but dear Roger began to weep as he spoke. In About the black knife prints that fascinate dear Roger so, But it wouldn't be right to give this to him, stuck as he is in the round table hold. Perhaps you could make use of it? The ancient plot, in which the first of the demigods was slain, the black knives along with the impression...
Hello guys, to summon the at uh, assassin knife fight in on the dungeon black knife catacombs, you have to begin the quest line. Uh, you begin this quest why here in summon water village. After that, you have to kill the boss here. After that, speak with the again at Table of Lost Grace. After that, speak with... Uh, I don't remember the name, but is a guy inside Bastion Sanctum. Open the door and offer the item from him. And that's it. After that, you have the help you at Black Knife Catacombs. This is a black knife print. I can scarcely believe you managed to get your hands on this. You recall our conversation about the Knight of the Black Knives, yes? They say the assassins who carried out the deed were scions of the Eternal City. A group entirely of women, arrayed in armor of silver under cloaks which fooled the eye. The knives they wielded, though, were imparted with the power of the Rune of Death through sinister rite. Please, I beg of you. Lend me the knife print for a time. I'd love nothing more than to tease out its secrets. Though only a fragment, a very specific ritual had to be performed to impart the power of the Rune of Death. Traces of the one who performed the rite are sure to remain in the imprint. Half my body has been suffused with death. I'm certain it will help me see. Pleased to see you again. Would you like me? The blessing is. Would you like to be held? No. 
You are so... He seemed positively elated. He must be possessed of great mental fortitude. It anchors his will and sustains him, despite his grievous wounds. You truly are a champion to dear Roger and myself too. Then good day to you, my dear. Hello. My examination. Now I have a fairly good idea who performed the rite upon the blade. The person who orchestrated the Knight of the Black Knives. Luna Princess Rani. One of the children born to King Consort Radigan and his first wife, Ronala. Demigod and sister to General Radan and Praetor Rikard. Hers was the name I discovered in the imprint. Truly, you have my thanks. But... If I might be so bold, I would like to ask something more of you. If Rani truly is the one who plotted that fateful night, then she should bear the curse mark of destined death somewhere upon her flesh. I would like you to procure it for me. And then, all will be laid bare. I will have the answers I have sought for so long. I There's a manor to the north of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. It is the familial home of the Karian royals, from whom Rani descends. There's been talk of the old royals' vassals gathering there in recent years. Rani's whereabouts since the Shattering are a well-kept secret. She hasn't been seen even once. But I suspect she might have returned to the manor in which she was born.
I am pleased. Would you like the blessing? Would you like... Now. Come. You are so... My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. for you well what have we here how did you get your hands on that dagger well that hardly matters I know very well whose dagger it is why don't I return it to them for you good work bringing this to me Finally, it is returned to its rightful place, the stolen Hallowbrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the Round Table Hold. I am Via, Deathbed Companion, Hark Round Table. Disturb not the death of Godwin. The exalted. We, who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. <laughs> 